uh, and he, he's the smallest big man, like they say he is. He uh, this was really the start of Mysterio being. I mean, he won the heavyweight championship after this at the WrestleMania. So I'm okay. I'm okay with this one. Uh, it was a great Rumble too. The moments was was great, and but it was more. You know what it was more great? I think. Because of the Eddie Guerrero death. Yeah. If that didn't happen, I'm not sure this would even be out in top ten. Nah. You know, unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, what do you, you know, think, Mike? What do you think was the – what do you think about Rey Mysterio? I'll tell you something, Michael. <laughs> he's, a, he's a fighting champion. Grace champion. I've seen. Wow. He's a fighting champion. <laughs> you talking about me playing the sounds. Well, what, I play one sound. Don't even get on me. No, I know. No, but yeah. you're right. I mean, I don't think we would have saw it without Eddie's death, and and I hate to say that, but, um, but it was but also you know what though we could say that same thing about Vicky Guerrero. Will we saw will we see her no. doing anything? No, but sorry, go ahead. No, I, I, dude, I completely agree with you, and um, you know, uh, but again, it it, it was a big moment too. It was kind of like a closure moment. For Ray too, because I mean he worked. He he's worked a lot in the WWE. He really has. He's 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 been in the wrestling business. What I want to say, a long time, a very very long time. Thirty. And, I mean, in the eighties he yeah. started. Yeah, because him and him and Eddie actually started together in the eighties. Well, you got to remember he started before ECW. I mean, no, he, yeah, you know, they AAA they were in Mexico yeah. together. They started in Mexico together. And um, all right, so. We're halfway through the countdown. Uh, before we go to number five, uh, I forgot to talk about uh, on Wrestling With Attitude, we had our poll. And uh, we actually had some people. Uh, we had people? Yeah, we had people. Uh, we had 33% for the Kofi Kingston moments, 33% for the f- three faces of Mick Foley, and 33% for Rey Mysterio breaking the record for longest time. I think the Mysterio one was accidentally... Push because if you look below it, it's Shawn Michaels. Oh, so you think someone accidentally? Yeah. yeah well, you know. I mean, because if it was me, I would just say <laughs> that Shawn Michaels that was more that to me. Okay, is more great than any other moment because that was the first time somebody won it from number one. That's one thing. It was. That's the first time somebody. Uh, did that where he almost went out, but one foot touched and he got back in. You know, that's the first time that happened. Yeah. Uh, and it's really was the start to me was start Shawn Michaels winning yeah. that rumble. Well, we haven't got to that one yet because we, I, I think that well, one's yeah, we'll actually on this. So, all right. So, and, and also, guys, if uh, we have polls every week, uh, next week our poll will be um, about the uh, highest flyers. We'll have uh, the high flyers next week. We'll have our poll on wrestlingwithattitude.com. Go ahead and mention that since we're talking about the poll. Yeah, the poll will be up tomorrow, so yeah, you can we'll vote. We'll be highest uh, high flyers. We'll have all the high flyers, you know, Ricky Steamboat, uh, Jimmy. Uh, Superfly. S- Superfly Snooker. Um, Ray Mysterio. Ray Mys- yeah, Ray Mysterio. John Morrison. <laughs> You're I so, can't wait till next week. You're so excited about that, aren't you? <laughs> Freaking kidding. Oh, me. gosh. But anyways, guys, wrestlingwithattitude.com. Go there. We got a poll. And, you know, let your voice be heard. Yeah, thank you. How, right. how do you <laughs> – did you say tweet? Can you tweet us? Oh, you can tweet us too at WWA Show. Very good, yeah. Because James really misses your guys' tweets. I, he if lives I, for them. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I need to get tweets. Yeah. You know, uh, I, I like to hear what we do, what we need to improve – what you don't like, if you need me to find a new uh, host for the show. And he does. Uh, you know, which is fine. I mean, I can do that. Uh, I know we've had special guests. We'll, maybe next week, well, come two weeks is picks. I'm going to try to get a special guest for us. Uh, you know, because when we do picks, we like to have celebrity picks. <laughs> so, but anyway, yeah. Tweet right. us and everything else. We got five more. Uh, let's, let's keep it going. All right. So, and this is one I, uh, had to actually go back and watch James was, uh, number five was Bret Hart and Lex Luger tie at the Royal Rumble. I actually went back and watched this Royal Rumble and that was, it was confusing as heck to me. What? <laughs> well, I mean, just like the crowd itself, nobody understood it because one ref was saying, okay, Lex, you win. One ref was saying, no, Bret, you win. Like they didn't even know really who touched the. The floor first. And, I mean, this was the first controversy we ever had 
<laughs> and, uh, I mean, it, it was a big moment. I mean, and this was in 94. Uh, mm-hmm. And this was right when, um, because I went back and watched that WrestleMania, and that was when Bret Hart and Lex Luger both faced the champion for the championship. They both faced Yokozuna. Mm-hmm. Not much more to be said about that one. But, you know, <laughs> like you said, this was the first contro- controversy. Uh, what what does Jimmy Fallon say? Trial conversity or travesty, whatever he says. Uh, but, yeah, they it is the first time they really had any. Yeah. No, I agree with you. I, I, so, but they uh, – you know, and remember, this was when Hogan just left. Uh, he was in WC. He went not just, but around that time. So, and they were trying to push Lex Luger to be Hogan. Yeah. So you know, and mm-hmm. it worked out for the better because Brett, like you said, went on to the Rumble or went on to WrestleMania, they won the won. title, uh, and then they had a great feud between him and his brother Owen. So, which was good, yeah. And speaking of controversy, number four is also some controversy. When Vince tears both quads at the Royal Rumble, never heard of anybody tearing both quads. Well, and the reason he did is because he he said he was sitting down or he was backstage. He saw what happened. He were, yeah. he was furious. And let's talk about and what happened. Dean and Miss Batista, Dean but, Batista, but, <laughs> Batista. You know, and John Cena went out to Rumble supposedly at the same time. Yeah. So, you know, he comes out. and He was furious. He was so – well, it's funny. Batista's like, I saw him out of the corner of my eye. He was just – he was mad. So uh, – but he got in the – when he jumped in the ring, he tore both quads. Yeah. And I guess it's like 0.1% yeah. chance of somebody tearing both quads and at the, the same time. And the look on his face, he didn't even – he acted like he didn't know. Well, he was just like – he was just like, I can't stand up. But don't don't tell anybody I can't stand up. I will tell you, I was I remember watching that one, and he did that. I was like, what are they doing? Why is he sitting down? Yeah. They never said that he tore his quads or anything. Because he didn't now, I really, to know. I didn't know. I think the only, the only person that knew he tore the quads at the time was Vince. He knew something bad was wrong because he couldn't stand up. Yeah. Because even John, John Cena and Batista were like, why, why is he sitting down? Like, they didn't understand. Nobody understood what he was even doing out there. So it, this is when they restarted the Royal Rumble, isn't it? Mm-hmm. They only restarted them two, right? Or did they restart? They usually – sometimes it depends on – and that's what the bad thing is about the Bret Hart. And they've done it differently sometimes because this has happened a couple times now. And you – you, they, were, they restarted this one. They didn't restart the other one. Well, so, they said this one wasn't supposed to happen, that Batista wasn't supposed to go over. It's when John hit him. No, it was when he, he went, was going up. His force took him over. Yeah, and he wasn't supposed to. John Cena was supposed to go out, and Batista was supposed to win the Rumble, and it didn't happen. Yep. <laughs> and I think – but I think the other one was planned. I really think the Bret Hart and Lex Luger one – was planned. I think they were they did that too because you've never seen something like this before. You you could tell the Batista and, and Cena one was not planned. No, I mean you could tell because uh, but you didn't see Vince did or anybody come out. I mean you did see what's his name Jack um, Briscoe. The, no, the, Jack Tunney. Tunney, you saw Tunney come that, out that and different. make controversy, but that was all planned in my opinion. Yeah. This was not uh, number three, which uh, J, uh, James. Mentioned earlier, and JP would probably mention if he was here. Um, Shawn Michaels winning the Royal Rumble from number one. Mr. Grand Slam champion himself winning the winning the Royal Rumble starting at number one. I mean, there's not much more to be said about. Uh, like like we like I said earlier, he this is really where he. You, you remember back Shawn Michaels' history. Or moments, mm-hmm. and the first moment you're going to remember, well, okay, the I, Intercontinental Ladder match maybe would be first, but this would be one of the top five moments in Shawn Michaels' history. To yeah. me, this should be number one, but we'll talk about the first, last two. All right, well, number two, uh, Roman Reigns breaks the record for throwing people out at 12. 
Now, there's a lot of controversy with this because no, technically Roman Reigns didn't throw out 12 oh, people. He threw out half, 11 man. and a half. Even First though, of all, <laughs> that was a big little man to be in the ring. Who, Torito? Yeah, Dorito. Yes. Torito. Doritos. No, it's Torito. No, it's Doritos. We're not me. calling him Doritos. I'm calling him Doritos. Uh, Doritos is going to sue us. <laughs> that's fine. That's fine. I got, you know, I called a Puerto Rican lion, the Lion King or whatever. The Puerto so, Rican Lion King. You know, yeah. <laughs> so I give him a shout out. Uh, anyway. <laughs> All right. Uh, but yeah, that was a big man to be thrown out of the ring. He. And the other thing, okay, he threw three people at once yeah, he out. Did. He threw both of the shield and one other person out one he time. He threw both of his both of his guys out, man. And I love how everybody was like, "Oh, Ambrose tried to throw you out," and he goes, "Dude, it's Ambrose. He's like the one you." He's would a want. renegade. Yeah, yeah, he's he's the crazy one of us. <laughs> I mean, it's true. All right, number one was uh, Ric Flair winning the Royal Rumble at. And the WWE Championship. And this was, uh, give me the year on this, James, because I don't quite remember. <laughs> you don't remember? You think I, I, you I think don't I think got I my, was born yet. You think I got it on my head? Yeah, on my I hands? do. <laughs> Listen, this was uh, WrestleMania 9. No. Yeah, it was WrestleMania 9 because it was, uh, this is when they had Sid Justice. Versus Hogan. This is a Royal Rumble at yeah. the WrestleMania? Well, no. Hold on, no. Oh. It was at the Rumble, but this set up WrestleMania is my point. Oh, okay. Because they had the WrestleMania in Indianapolis. It was Ric Flair versus Savage, and it was a double main event. You oh, had Hogan yeah. versus Sid Justice at the time. Sid. Not Sid Vicious, Sid Justice. Hey, there's your uh, Sid, he, he Sid Vicious. He wanted a reference to this. Shout out. I, I gave him a shout out. Uh, but this is... <laughs> This was Flair's first time winning the title on WWE. Yeah. I actually won a few times, I think. But he – I don't know about number one. I don't know really? about this number one. No. He won the title at the Rumble. I agree. I think Shawn Michaels should be number one. Okay. Well, uh, I mean, let's go right into it. Now. Where, where, yeah, would you, where would you put everything else? If you could, was there something you would take out? Because I feel like you'd take out the Drew Carey thing. Oh, he he's gone. <laughs> he's gone. He's gone. <laughs> Drew Carey – would be top 30 maybe. Yeah. No, 20. Uh, I'd put in the Santino Morella being eliminated no, in one, one second. second. No. One second. No. That is a – that. No. You might as well you, – are you putting the Warlord in for two seconds? No. Okay. Then Because one second is, is one, worth it. I know, but at the time, Warlord was the record. So would, why would you yeah. put Santino in but not put Warlord in? Well, Kane eliminating a lot of the people. That would have been Well, that there. was a previous record before last year. Okay, well, the same thing as Warlord being two seconds than Santino. I'm putting in the most recent. Okay, who <laughs> who are you taking out? Who are you putting in then? Uh, I'd take out Drew Carey and put in Santino. But I'd, I'd move Santino to 10 and move Vince McMahon winning at 9. So that's what I would do. Um, I mean, what, what would you do? Any others? Uh, I'm trying to remember what other one. I had, it was 1992. Was when Flair won the Rumble and the Heavyweight Championship. Uh, oh, okay, well, that makes sense. Here, uh, I'll name. Let me name some other. So that was here. WrestleMania eight, right? WrestleMania, yeah, eight. Uh, it was eight. Sorry, I was off oh. one year. No, it's. Uh, here's some, here's another one. Uh, John Cena's. I'm gonna name a couple, and now I'll tell you why we'll replace it. Uh, John Cena's rapping entrance. The first time he did it, he says, "Yo, it doesn't matter, kid." Because I'll rip your nose off. I can bow you naked with no clothes on. Yeah, yeah come on. That's so bad. Not in the <laughs> top ten, though. Uh, you know, there's I mean, there's been so many great Rumble moments. Uh, you got Drew Carey. I, I, I wouldn't have that top ten. That that does not deserve to be a top ten. Uh, Sant, even Santino clears the ring by himself. You remember? He almost – the Rumble with Del Rio one. I hated that Rumble, but Santino almost winning the Rumble was a great moment to me, even though I, I was like, wait a minute, you, they don't really have Santino win the Rumble because I really thought they might do that. Uh, really? Well, we got to take a quick break here, man. All right. Um, all right, well, we'll be right back, and we'll uh, – 
in this segment and get right into Raw on our next segment. You're listening to Wrestling With Attitude. I know you're in I know you're dreaming. 